Why is nobody talking about this credit union? Man, I've been waiting to tell you all about the Apple Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy, the biggest. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you find out every time we drop new content, you're gonna hear about it first. We talk about everything credit here. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, that little like button. That way this video goes out to way more people, okay? In case you didn't know, I am the owner and founder of Limitless Culture. We created the most advanced DIY program in the industry. At $55.99 a month, our system will create custom Metro 2 attack letters, attacking any negative items on your credit reports and all your personal information that's not accurate. Imagine that. Our system will create your letters, email them to you, you print them, you mail them out, certified mail, and you're done. It's just that simple. You don't have to join any Facebook groups, you know, those archaic things. You don't have to read any modules. You don't have to do any master courses. We cut all that nonsense out. Our system will create those custom letters, email them to you, you print them, you mail them out, certified mail, and you're done. Link is always going to be in the description for our DIY program, the most advanced in the industry. I'm honestly really shocked that I'm early to the party and I'm gonna be one of the very first people to tell you about Apple Federal Credit Union. Everybody is sleeping on this credit union, which I don't understand why, but they are. Okay, so let's talk about the differences with a credit union and an actual bank. This is one of the biggest things that a lot of people really don't understand, so let's cover that first. Traditional banks and credit unions. Let's not make this really long-winded, okay? So let's explain the easiest way. A traditional bank like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, not to pick on them, okay, but we're just gonna use them as an example. They're going to borrow money from your money, the money that you put in the bank. Every $100, they can borrow out 10 to 20 times that $100. That money goes back to the board members, okay, and to the shareholders. It doesn't come back to you, the customer. They're not offering you the best products in the world. I mean, they make it seem like that, but they're really not, okay? So, that's really what happens at big banks, okay? Now, credit unions work for the members. You, you're not a customer, you're an actual member, okay? And credit unions are, guess what? Non-profits, okay? What, what? Yes, exactly. This is the reason why all of their profits, profits, okay, <laughs> are going to go back into you, the members. That's why they offer large limit credit cards bigger loans, better terms on auto loans, mortgages, HELOCs, all these things. They're better products because of that, because the money's coming back to you, the member, they're serving you. Now, the best part about Apple Federal Credit Union, anybody can join. Now, there's two ways that you can join. All right, so the first way that you can get in is if you join and become a member of the Friends of the WOD Trail. I know that sounds weird, right? For $20 a year, if you join, this will get you in, okay? That is that is the first way that you can get in. All right, so the second way that you can get in is going to be if you join the Northern Virginia Athletic Directors and Coaches Association. I know, that also sounds weird, okay? It's just $20 a year, that'll also get you in. So those are your top two ways you can get in, unless you have a family member that's a member, or if you're a teacher in certain Virginia area schools, okay? Just go to the website, there on Apple Federal Credit Union, you look at all the different options that you can have, okay? So you can check them out. Now, here's another great part about this credit union. Entry level for any of their products is going to be a 580. That's really low, okay? I'm just gonna be honest with you, okay? That's really low for any type of credit union or any type of banking industry, okay? But again, this is about relationship banking. Remember, you need to go watch my video on how to establish a relationship and get high limit credit cards. You need to follow that process to a T, even with this credit union, okay? Because remember, relationship banking is key with any credit union, okay? So again, 580 is entry level, okay? And they're going to pull from TransUnion just like, uh, just about almost every credit union, okay? There's very few that pull from like, Equifax and stuff like that, but they're gonna pull from TransUnion, okay? 580 is entry level and they have a bunch of great credit cards, auto loans and all that, we're gonna go over that too. It's very important that you understand you need to establish a relationship for at least a minimum of six to eight months, 
with a new credit union before you pull the trigger and try to apply for a new credit product, whether it be a credit card, an auto loan, or a mortgage, or a, a refinancing on a home, or a HELOC, whatever it may be. You need to establish that relationship for at least six to eight months. Because if you pull the trigger early, listen, there's gonna be people like myself that have good credit, okay? You're gonna go out there and you're gonna pull the trigger, that's fine, but you're not going to get as high as a limit because you're new, you're fresh, they don't know you. They wanna see those transactions, they wanna see all this movement in the bank account. They need to see that to trust you. This is very important. If you wait those six to eight months, you're gonna get a higher limit credit card. You have a higher chance of doing that. Higher limit credit cards equal what? Lower utilization, okay? And when you go to another bank, like, you know, let's say Discover or Citibank or American Express, you go apply for a credit card, now you got 50,000, 30,000, 20,000 lines of credit on your credit file that look fantastic, and that means you're going to get a higher limit with one of those bigger banks. Now, all Apple Federal Credit Union credit cards have no annual fee, which means you can keep it in your wallet forever, however long you want. It doesn't matter because you're not paying anything for it, and you got that nice high limit on your credit profile, which looks fantastic. Now there is no balance transfer fee. Sometimes there are promotional periods in there. Depends on the card. So just remember that it's not, you know, consistently always no balance transfer fees, okay? It's always gonna be based on the credit card that you have. And sometimes what happens with these credit unions, like they'll give you a you know zero percent balance transfer fee for your first card and then not your next one. So just pay attention to that if you're gonna get multiple cards with this credit union, okay? Or just any credit union period, okay? because there's always that little asterisk in there that tells you there's something uh, different about that, okay? So, all of their credit cards offer that. Now, here's another big surprise though. Apple Federal Credit Union offers six different types of credit cards, okay? Now, it seems to be that their best credit card is called the Signature Rewards. That credit card goes all the way up to $50,000, okay? That's solid, okay? We all know that's tremendous. So that's a really big deal. Pay attention to that credit card now. Don't go after that credit card right in the beginning. You wanna go for a mid-tier credit card first and then work your way to that after you've been with them for at least close to a year or over that eight month mark, okay? So remember that. Do not go after the first big kahuna first. And some of you might wanna say, whatever, Mike, you don't tell me what to do with my life, okay? Go get the 50,000 if, if you think you're a gangster, okay? Go get it. But it's highly unlikely that you're gonna get that huge limit right out the gate, okay? Some of you may, some of you may not. So, but I'm gonna tell you, wait that six to eight month mark, build it up, and then come back and go after that specific credit card. Now, they also have the My Rewards credit card. That is another, that is another good credit card that they offer. That one goes up to only 5,000, okay? So you're gonna see the variations in these credit cards, which is kind of crazy. The next one up is the Platinum, okay? That one is seems like it's the middle tier credit card. That one goes all the way up to 35,000, okay? Which is pretty solid. Can't complain about that, okay? Then you have the Educator one. That one also goes up to 35,000. Now you have the Student. That one goes up to 1,500. They're not trying to give students that much money, okay? Now the credit builder is 100% secured by you, okay? 250 all the way to up to $5,000 that you can use for yourself to build your credit back up. Before you go and apply for anything, you need to make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And stop acting like you don't know. Last part's most important. So let's kind of go back to the, to the cards that we were talking about, okay? Because the signature rewards has some decent benefits. You're gonna get two X points on groceries, three X points on gas, and one point on everything else, okay? Now, you can redeem those, those points for cash, gift cards, travel, and more, okay? Now remember, these credit unions don't have the structure as like the American Expresses, the Citibanks, the Capital One Venture Xs. It's not the same, okay? People always get disappointed when they get into these ecosystems. It is what it is. We're going after that high limit credit card. That's what we really want. Now, if you're eligible to be one of the educators, because I believe it has like requirements for that specific area, I could be wrong. Someone needs to find out for me. If you're an educator, if you're a teacher or something like that, you know, in a university, high school, whatever, find out if it's specifically for that specific area, okay? Because it might have that issue there, okay? Now, the educator card says it has no payments during summer months because it's designed for educators 
because as we all know, teachers don't work in the summer months. That is pretty crazy. I've never seen anything like that. That's why I found this very unique about these credit cards, the different things that they offer. But this bank is credit building friendly. That is a big deal for everybody out there, okay? You need to work on your credit, establish a relationship, and get higher limit credit cards. This is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Now their auto loan section, okay? They do the standard 36 months on new autos all the way up to 60 months, okay? Guess what? It doesn't stop there. All the way up to 84 months on a new auto loan, okay? That's a really big deal. That's a pretty long stretch out loan there, okay? So that's a pretty cool feature for new auto loans, okay? Um, now for used, they will also go all the way up to 84 months, okay? There's requirements on the amount that the car has to be for a used car, a minimum loan amount of 25,000 if you wanna stretch it out to 84 months, okay? It's not, it's not horrible, it's not bad. Now they also offer uh, for motorcycles all the way up to 84 months also. Um, new motorcycles uh, uh, and also used motorcycles, but the used motorcycles only go up to 72 months Okay, for all my motorcycle people out there because everyone knows I like to ride too Okay, so just 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 in case you didn't know <laughs> Now just so you know they do offer mortgages home equity loans personal loans student loans Okay, and skip a pay. I'm not sure what the skip a pay is. We're not gonna get into all that But let's take a look at the mortgages because that's really important, especially in this market right now, home equity loans and personal loans. Let's take a look at it, see what it's all about. Now they do have different home buyer programs. They have a fixed rate, adjustable rate, you can refinance, you have a first time buyer, and you have an educator, military, and first responder, and then a reverse mortgage loan, okay? Now, the first time buyer's got a little snafu with it that I saw, okay? Because it says your rate can adjust once every five years. I am not a fan of adjustable rates, especially in a time like this. This is really the worst time to ever get an adjustable rate. People are gonna say, well, you know, in five years, we're gonna be in a better position, people. Nobody knows that, okay? Nobody's gonna know. This is what happened to all the people in 2007, 2008, when that bubble burst, they all had all those horrible adjustable rates, and guess what? It The, the whole entire housing market crashed and collapsed, and people got foreclosed on because their payments were outrageously high. They, nobody expected it, and it happened. So I'm not a fan of adjustable rates. Some people want to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> that's your own business. I say stay away from them. Go with the fixed rate all the time. So that's kind of a letdown right there with that situation with um, you know the first time home buyer plan. Now they do offer personal loans, okay? So there's a bunch of different personal loans that they offer. They offer about, I think it's like seven of them. So signature loans, signature line of credit, a savings secured, regular or savings, a savings secured certificates, first responders line of credit, and an educator line of credit, okay? Now, if if you've been a, a subscriber of this channel, you will know that I'm a big fan of secured savings lines, okay? So secured loans, basically. Okay, you can put your money up. This is really tremendous. It can help you establish that relationship with the credit union. Always do a secured loan. It is a big deal. Never do anything less than two years. You want two years and above, okay, when you do a secured loan. This is great for your credit profile because if you do two years, at least you're getting 24 months of on-time payment history. If you can stretch it all the way out to five years, that's even better, okay? But again, they offer a good array of personal loan products also. So now I forgot to tell you something. Remember, last part's the most important. They offer business banking, okay? Now, I did not see anything about, you know, it has to be a local business in their local area. Just double check with that because I'm not 100% certain I have not done any business banking. I bank with other banks for my business, but not this one, okay? So if you go out there and you get those data points, make sure to come back in the comments and let everybody know. But they look to have some great products. They have term loans, equipment financing, working capital, commercial real estate loans, SBA 504 loans, vehicle loans, and then credit cards. Now guess what? Their credit cards go all the way up to $50,000 for business credit cards. That is solid for anybody's business, okay? So this is another great thing. Now remember, establish a relationship with the credit union at least 60 to 90 days before you open up a business checking if you are eligible for whatever eligibility reasons they may have. Some of them want you to wait 30 days. 
I believe Navy Federal is 30 days. I can't remember, even though I have an account with them. I think, yeah, it is, it is 30 days. They make you wait 30 days after you open up your personal account. So this is great. They have great business products and this is something that you want. So if you can have both of those things at the same bank, even better, okay? Now, a little tidbit that you should know. If and when you do decide to open a business checking account, if you're out there and you have liquidity, you got cash flow, put a minimum of $5,000 into your business checking account before you even apply for the credit card. The more money you put into that, into that checking account for your business, the higher the chance you're going to get an even higher limit credit card for your business. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Apple Federal Credit Union. It is a hidden gem for your personal life and your business and people looking to rebuild their credit, okay? So make sure that you watch one of these next videos because it is recommended by YouTube, okay? And as always, subscribe to increase your credit score.